Hi, it's Krzysztof from Rhino Tutorials. Uh, in this episode, I will show you 10 essential comments to start using Rhino. Well, it's hard to start learning Rhino. I know that. Uh, I remember when I started to learn Rhino, everything was complicated. Well, probably it's because uh, I haven't got the, the right person who taught me all of the essentials and I had to manage all of this by myself. But uh, since I get the right comments, since I get the right usage of those comments, everything like went smooth and nice and I could just jump straight to uh, modeling my ideas. So the Rhino was limiting me in the modeling. And um, I will show you like the most essential comments uh, which you probably will use and start to generate your ideas straight on. Uh, because when I like done research of all of my uh, skills I grasped and I've been making all of my tutorials online and it came out, I came up to idea that uh, I'm using maximum 15 commands. Uh, I was using at the beginning. Now, of course, when, I, when you're getting pro, you need some more. But to start realizing your concepts, you don't need much comments. You need to understand the basics. Of course, I assume that you know how to use a mouse in Rhino, how to open the Rhino, what is the crucial, uh, uh, crucial to start uh, modeling, and you know a little bit of interface. If you don't, uh, I recommend my uh, course, of course and my beginner tutorials uh, but if you uh, if you are like beginner and you know of this so those 10 comments are like crucial and uh, will help you to realize most of your concepts of course the level of that of the concepts will be just a sketch just to show the investor or just to make a, a visualization or something like that but this is fairly enough to show your ideas uh, and to like spread what you have uh, in your in your head. So let's start. So the first command you must know as a beginner is a control point carve. Control point carve is just a just a drawing basically. So control point carve is, is placed over there. So if you draw anything with that. So the best uh, is to start from, from a top view because the top view is just like a kind of sheet of paper drawing on a desk. So use the top uh, view and always remember to, to start uh, all of design from a zero point or to start around zero point. Then you can show yourself, you can rotate your view around that. So let's say I'm going to create shape like this. It's going to be my shape. So more points... Uh, you put next to another, then the, the shape will be will be more narrow to remember. But this is this is very smooth uh, drawing uh, and gives you kind of uh, idea how to uh, design your shapes with a uh, with a nice organic uh, aspect. And so now you can you are actually able to just. Uh, see how it's gonna look when you when you're gonna extrude it and that's your shape yeah and uh, you will see at any point of uh, uh, designing the carve uh, control point carve uh, command helps uh, to start new um, new shape or start new surface and it helps a lot okay second one which I'll really recommend for beginners. It's arch from two points, not just arch, because if you get an arch, arch command is there, you're gonna get arch uh, as like you for, you're getting it from uh, uh, from radius, yes? But I would like having uh, the arch point from two points. So you are declaring first point, the second point, and just the curvature of the arch, as you see right now first, second, and the, the curvature you can adjust by 
uh, by just snapping to some objects. If you want to control the snapping, here you've got a snap bar at the bottom um, of your uh, software and you can adjust what snapping objects you're going to have. And also remember to have the planner on. So if you have a planner on, then the first and the second point gonna be at the same plane uh, where you started and at the same gonna be with the third point. Okay, I'm going to have like, like so. And then the, the, the drawing with the two points gives me kind of freedom of doing nice and uh, organic shapes as well but with the more control over the beginning and the end of the edges yeah so this is it so now i have a i have it like that like so and i can uh, do the same thing i can straight on extrude my shape i will better have just those curves well let's just having uh, all, all of them and then just extrude it by using the point you see The third command, which is a very powerful tool, and I'll show you why, it's just a sphere. Sphere, uh, it's constructed, sphere is kind of uh, abstract um, object in uh, Rhino because it's surface and solid at, the, at once, uh, which in this situation, uh, as you probably uh, see, it has a one edge. It means that this is kind of rolled surface around uh, 360 degrees. But those two uh, edges are meeting in one point and they are, if uh, they join, they are solid as it is in Rhino. Uh, okay, so I will show you what, why it's powerful, which actually, um, what actually leads me to the fourth uh, more powerful um, comment I would like to introduce to you is Rebuild Surface. If you just turn the control points on, your sphere is kind of bounded with the, with the points you can control in some way. If you move those points, you can, uh, you can like um, readjust the shape of the sphere but it doesn't give you the, the right feedback. It doesn't give the right shape because the, the, uh, the edi editing point gives you this the, the, like very edgy um, surface, but you can change it by editing that surface by rebuilding surf, rebuild surface command. So if you rebuild surface, you kind of changing amount of the point around the sphere as I'm doing right now, and you can you can you can add more points at the horizontal and um, at the spherical axis. Uh, so let's have a look. Um, I change it 10 at U um, direction and V direction also 10. And now you've got a beautiful shape. Now, uh, paradoxically, it's not sphere anymore. It still looks like, but mathematically, it's not a sphere. But anyway. If you, for example, take some points like I'm doing right now, let's say every second uh, row, here, if you just holding shift, scale the, those points with, uh, with just a gumball, you are becoming pro here so this is great so i recommend to play a lot uh, with this to learn how to ed um, edit that um, i like to set up uh, the um, uh, certain amount of points the uh, points when i'm rebuilding so in this case when i'm rebuilding that um, that shape i like to place always um, the number split it by four. So in this case, the 12 should be enough. What it does it give me? It does give me uh, every three rows at the quarter of my axis. Uh, 
coordinate system, which gives me information that like if I will be if I want to be symmetrical in terms of modification, as you see right now, I can select every uh, two rows um, in a certain in a certain uh, coordinate system quarter, and I will beautifully rescale it with gumball, and I'm going to have totally outstanding shape, which I will show you right now. So look, you can uh, readjust a position of the points and you can really play with the with the combo. <clears throat> that concept, you can make a lot of the objects. You can uh, readjust a position of the points and you can really play with the with the combo. Okay. And another one is going to be the blend. The blend is kind of a bridge between two shapes. I will split this um, shape right now. Let's split it somewhere, somewhere there. So let's just use split command. Okay, and then I will move that shape, one, one half of it. And I will make a little bit of the changes. So now I will ask Rhino to create bridge using mathematical continuity between those two shapes. And you will see the effect. Yes, let's say chain edges. Chain edges is to keep up with all around the, uh, the edge. So this edge is first and the second edge is here. And then I need to declare the point of the start of the edge, start of the seam on the shape. But I actually think that this is the right position. And if I click right now, the, the, the Rhino asks me what kind of continuity I want to have here. So in this situation, I want to have curvature or tangency. We'll see how it works. Ten, curvature will give me Curvature will give me beautiful, a uh, nice uh, shape, but it's like overcrossed. So we need to just get a little bit uh, decrease the, the speed of the of the surface. So now it's beautiful. So that's blend, and then it gives you huge uh, power of making advanced looking design. The very crucial command for you, it's, uh, it's it's set of commands actually, I treat it as a one, and it's uh, join and explode. Join, uh, close the shape, and it's now one solid. It's helping now, for example, to export it as a STL file and print it straight on, yes? But if you explode that, you can still make some changes. So for example, you can, uh, you can delete that and you can play some more. That's that's uh, that's two comments which are crucial and I'm using it like all the time. Each so each modification I will do, then I will close it, I will just join it or explode it. All right. Uh, another comment is just the fillet edge. So for example, you have your object joined. You're gonna have that object capped as it is. So now it's like hard, very hard edge, very edgy. So if you want to, if you're creating visualization, you want to have your objects uh, like a smooth and nice, and you want your light to, to be flashing out of the edges nicely, before you start your visualization, you need to just uh, round those edges. Not just visualization. If you're making something for, for printing, sometimes it's, it's helping too. So um, go just straight on to comment called fillet edges. Yeah, you need to declare what kind of amount of the fillet you want to have. So in this case, probably <coughs> I need a lot. So I'm going to have a 20 millimeters. And actually, Rhino shows you what go what that fillet is going to look like. In some cases, Rhino also doesn't want to make that fillet because the fillet is too big. So Rhino, te Rhino tells you that this is not manufac manufacturable. So that fillet will not be able to be uh, existing in the real world. Okay, but this is this is actually it. You can uh, you can make it smaller or bigger. Uh, depends what you want to achieve. 
another great comment it's boolean difference boolean difference just kind of cutting using two objects on the stage so i'm having that object for example and now i will push that um, shape towards my design like this yeah and then i want to have that uh, object cut it in this beautiful shape yeah so let's just go straight to boolean difference this is eighth command which i recommend for uh, beginners so let's do it for first is going uh, the objects you want to subtract in click it and then confirm with the enter or with the right mouse button which is also enter works as an enter or the space bar also works as an enter and then select the shape you want to cut with so this is going to be the extruded shape and then your shape is gonna having like hole uh, with the shape of the extruded uh, profile. Another great command will be shell command. Shell command actually give you um, the thickness of the object. So for example, you, you're gonna print the chasse for, for something and you wanna, you wanna have one half and another half and you wanna just uh, after printing you want to having something inside like electronic comp uh, composite or Arduino or, or something like this uh, You just need to go to the solid tools and then uh, comments called the shell and you need to remember that the thickness of the wall in uh, for the printing also uh, Doesn't need, cannot be too thin because the printer will not printed uh, properly but in this case three millimeters should do the job select this the face you want to get rid and then you want to make a hole and you want to make the, the thickness out out of it yeah so this is how um how it looks yeah it's looking great so now i i, I need to do it because uh, i'm a freak i'm uh, i'm rhino freak as well as as t teacher so i will create some um some changes over there and i will use the old comment i have already uh, told you today which is blend command to show you how i will finish that vase to be uh looking nicer so i will create a control point carve like this here and i will cut trim uh, the, the the shape with that carve as it is yeah go to perspective again and now uh, i need to probably get rid of those of those uh, iso carve uh, visibility and now i will create blend around those two shapes so let's uh, let's take a look let's chain edges so that's gonna be the first edge this is gonna be a second edge and the, um, the seam of the surface is gonna be here and now I need to declare what's gonna be the curvature of like a speed of that surface so let's 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 play with this a little bit let's see I'm going to increase the speed yes and I have a nice beautiful edge of my vase you see so now i will close i will join it again so as you see i'm using all the time the same comments the 10th comment i'm i'm going to introduce to you is comment called mirror i want to have the same shape on the other side and i need to mirror it so let's just mirror it mirror is there we can type mirror as well on the prompt bar and just say set up the plane with the shift pressed i'm setting up the plane um, parallel to y-axis with the shift pressed but you can you can make any angle you want to have i'm having the shift i'm having the parallel to uh, y-axis and then that comment helps me to create to create objects on the other side so uh I will I can uh, make modification of your those of any of this uh, object and then use blend command again to create some beautiful shapes yeah. and then just look again 
join and it's joined and you've got a nice beautiful shape you, you can easily print right now okay i think that's it so uh thanks for watching but before you, you just uh, close that um, player window i'm inviting you to my courses which i'm having on rhino tutorials uh, dot online which uh, helps you to to boost yourself in designing you can get pro very easy i have like invented great step-by-step uh, um, uh, -step program for you to to grow and also like that video share it and subscribe if you like it uh, that helps um, to spread uh, my knowledge um, I'm hoping uh, you like that video and you use it, you use that knowledge for yourself. So uh, let's stay tuned, see my, my, my rest, the rest of my videos and see you in next ones. Take care. Bye.